The Trillium Lakelands District School Board reported last week that a teacher at Riverside Public School had recently tested positive for COVID-19. The school has not closed and there seems to be no further concern of the spread to other teachers or students at the school at this time. However, this comes as teacher union officials are calling for their members to be pushed to the front of the line of those who are prioritized for COVID-19 vaccines. But Premier Ford says they're still focused on getting the most vulnerable vaccinated first at this point. The most elderly, those appointments booked, uh, we, we have an excess of probably 1.4 million. I'm being conservative on that. Uh, people already already booked, so that's, that's one part of it. However, OSSTF District 15 President Colin Matthews says the elderly age group they're focusing on aren't nearly as vulnerable as educators working in high-risk settings. I think it's an ongoing part of the patterning of the mixed messaging that's come out of this government, uh, broadly speaking under Ford, but also specifically through Lecce, the Minister of Education where uh, there doesn't seem to be any demonstration of understanding of the restrictions that would have the most impact. So we're hearing from the science table that they're looking for something that actually resembles a lockdown uh, or a stay at home order, depending on the language that you choose to go with, uh, but something that strongly encourages those that are able to stay at home to do so. And you mentioned that a lot of the folks that are in high risk age categories do have that ability to stay at home. You've got folks working in grocery stores and other essential industries, and you've got education workers who haven't been given that option or don't have that option. And as such, the, the prioritization to me seems political in nature. It doesn't seem to take the advice of the science table or the medical teams that are giving that advice. And you're now starting to see that in regions like Peel, where the local medical officer of health has stepped in and closed the schools in response. Karen Bertina, president of the Trillium Lakelands Elementary Teachers Local, says educators are scared of going to work and contracting the virus. A lot of uncertainty. Uh, there's no question um, that educators want to be um, in the schools. They, they, as much as the government prioritizes the safety of students and the well-being of students and has talked about, um, you know, ensuring that schools remain open, we want that too. And so do the teachers across the province, but they want a safe environment. And we know that vaccinating teachers, ed workers, everybody um, will prevent the spread of the, the infection of the virus. She says the priority has to be teachers first at this point and soon. We're calling uh, for the government to use this window of opportunity um, of the April break next week to prioritize ed workers, all ed workers. So not just teachers, but EAs, ECEs, secretaries, custodial staff, bus drivers, administrators, teachers, everybody um, in, in the education field.